Hey everyone, Tin Man here. One of the most common questions from newer players is when do I level up? This is a critical skill for improving at Dota Underlords as it is very important to ensure that you are keeping pace in power level with your opponents. Leveling up has multiple benefits. Not only do you increase the number of units that you can have on the board, which increases your combat strength, but it also allows you to find more powerful units in the shop. For this reason, it is often best to prioritize leveling up to level 8 or 9 before rerolling too much to ensure that your rerolls get you the best possible units. In general, you want to level up on turns where your XP is a multiple of 5. Since you gain 1 XP per round, that means that you should consider leveling up every 5 rounds, starting on round 3. This will prevent you from spending excess gold to uh, buy experience into the next level, which is very inefficient. There are a few notable exceptions, which will be covered uh, later, when players often will choose to level up outside of these uh, even multiples of 5 rounds. When leveling up, it is ideal to spend your gold on buying XP in the combat round before the turn you want to level up. So in this example here, in the combat round 7, we're leveling up to 14 of 15 experience, so that on the next round, the shop will refresh after we level up, giving us access to the higher odds at the new level 5. The primary goal of the early game leveling up is to establish your economy and maximize your gold income. Sometimes that will come from leveling up quickly to establish and maintain a win streak. Other times, if you already have a weak start and you don't have a win streak, you'll want to delay leveling up to maintain a losing streak and increase the gold gained from interest. On round 3, if you won the first two rounds, then it may make sense to level up to 4 at this point. This will give you an extra unit over your opponents, allowing you to more easily establish an early win streak. If you did not win the first two rounds though, or you think it's unlikely that you'll continue winning, then it's better to save up your gold. On rounds 4 through 7, most players will level up to 4 at some point between these two rounds. Ideally, you level up when you have a powerful unit to put in, and you're trying to get a win streak. The one exception is that if you're on a losing streak, or you're in an open fort style strategy, in this case you'll want to ensure that you have maximum interest rather than spend gold to level up. On round 8, you'll most likely level up to 5. If you did not level up at all, you'll naturally hit level 4 on this turn, and if you want to continue a losing streak, then don't level up to 5 here until you can do so without losing maximum interest, which is 30 gold saved up. In the mid-game, as you transition, it becomes more important to keep pace with the levels of your opponents. If you fall behind at this point, you're going to be taking larger chunks of damage, so these benchmark rounds are a little bit more strict than they were in the early game. This is also a time where the rich get richer in a sense. Pretty much everyone will have maximum interest by this point, but those who already have a win streak will have much more gold than others. If you have excess gold, rather than reroll at levels 6 or 7, it's often better to level up as quickly as possible, even faster than these timings listed here, to maintain your lead. On rounds 10 and 11, these are the rounds right after you get access to your Underlord, which means more damage from the opposing Underlord if you do lose the round, and of course the round damage is increased once you hit round 10 if you lose. This makes it much more important to ensure that you are winning these rounds, as the penalty for losing has dramatically increased. Many players will opt to level up to 6 on either round 10 or 11 to ensure that they are as strong as possible at this critical transition point. Round 13, this is the typical timing to level up to 7. Some players who have less gold or maybe a weaker economy may stay at level 6 for another round or two to avoid spending all of their gold, but round 14 is probably the latest you want to hit level 7. Round 18, if you had not had to reroll much during level 7, then round 17 is probably the best time to level up to 8. This is a very important power spike, as many builds rely on an 8th unit to fully complete core synergies, and it unlocks the possibility of getting powerful tier 5 units. If you are very far ahead, then you'll often level up to 8 even earlier, like round 16 or 17. Leveling up to 9 and 10 in the late game is a little bit different than the previous levels. The gold investment is much higher for these levels, and you reach a point where it may be more beneficial to spend 40 gold on rerolls and buying units compared to leveling up. The damage output from losing rounds at this later point in the game is very high, and your primary goal is making sure that your board is as strong as possible every round. Saving up for interest and optimizing level timings is much less important than making sure that you're just strong enough to avoid elimination. 
Some optimal rounds here in the later stages of the game are round 23. This will be your next multiple of 5 XP after round 18. And if you're looking to level up to level 9, this would be the earliest efficient timing. If you are looking for a lot of tier 4 and tier 5 units though for your build, you may want to level up to 9 as fast as possible even earlier than this since your shop odds for those units, the tier 4 and 5 units, increase dramatically. Also, rounds 28 and 33, these are the next efficient leveling timings, but once again, at this point in the game, simply winning rounds is far more important than optimal gold efficiency. If you have the gold to level up and you're at risk of being eliminated, you should just level up right away rather than wait for the most ideal time. To evaluate in the late game whether it's worth it to level up or reroll, you need to consider your health total, gold total, and relative strength of your board versus the opposing board. The stronger that your board is, and the more health and gold that you have, the more likely it is correct to level up. You'll have the time and gold to make use of the higher levels. Also, leveling up makes the most sense if your board is already two-starred, or you're just one unit shy of completing a major alliance, as rerolling will not offer nearly as much improvement as an extra unit would. On the flip side, if you are very low on life total, say less than 40 HP, and you know that you're weaker than several opponents who are left, then you may want to forget about leveling up anymore and just start rerolling for those last few upgrades to make your board more competitive. Once you manage to find most of these upgrades and start winning rounds, then you consider trying to level up once you've already stabilized. Here's a table summarizing the key turns, but remember, just like the Pirate's Code, these are more like guidelines than actual rules. Each game is different, so sometimes it is correct to deviate. That is it for the basics of leveling up in Dota Underlords. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you like this type of content and want to see more of it, please consider supporting me by joining the channel. You get perks such as early access to guides like this. Special thanks to my Lord Tier channel member, John Vise. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.